When you are in the first phase of your new site link building process, what would you usually build first and next? Um, yeah, so we've got like whole videos on this already. Definitely check our channel out because we've answered this question many, many, many times. We actually need to write an article on it. Um, that'd be a good article to have just for how many times we've answered this question. That'd probably just be a good thing to rank for, right? Um, but yeah, in the very beginning, uh, we do a lot of foundational link building. So if you go to our website, sirlinkslot.co, that'd be like our pillow links packs, our diversity links packs, uh, social profiles, uh, citations. Um, we don't sell web 2.0s individually, but you can do like web 2.0s. You can do like press releases, um, you know, stuff that you're basically just announcing your, this business opened or whatever, stuff like that. So it's all this like foundational type link building, right? Um, and these are things that um, basically all of these types of links, except for um, press releases, you know, basically anyone can go out and create these links. You can create press, press releases on your own too. Um, and the thing is they just take time, right? Which is why someone will usually come to an agency like us because no one wants to go out and build, you know, like a hundred foundational links. It just takes so much time and they're not like these really like heavy, like super powerful links, right? They're just kind of the stuff you need to do. Um, but you can go and make them yourself for free or you can pay for someone like us to do them like very cheap, right? Um, so after you do some like foundational link building and when, when you're doing your foundational link building, you're just gonna link to your homepage only. Um, you're gonna use natural anchor text only, meaning branded anchors, uh, URL anchors, uh, generic anchors, maybe some kind of like long tail slash topical anchors. I like doing a lot of like branded and URLs, especially in the beginning and then doing some kind of like topical long tail stuff. Uh, but yeah, mainly branded, branded and URL for the foundational stuff. And then after that, um, you can start doing stuff like uh, niche edits and guest posts, um, basically editorial style links. Um, and I'd probably still link to your homepage mainly in the beginning. Uh, again, still using natural anchors. And then after your site starts to gain a little bit of traffic and you start ranking for some keywords and Google kind of starts to understand what your websites are out and everything's like indexed and everything, uh, then you can start slowly linking to some like inner pages, right? Not just your homepage. You can start linking to some of your, um, your service pages or whatever. I don't know what kind of website you have, but maybe some of your money pages. Um, but in general, you know, we, we kind of like ramp up to this. We're in the very beginning, we're doing like own like a 100% homepage building. And then maybe as the site starts to gain some traffic, starts to go up, then maybe we're doing, you know, 80% homepage building. And then it'll eventually get to the point where maybe we're even only doing like 50% homepage building, right? Uh, but then maybe some months we go back and maybe we'll do 80% homepage. Maybe another month we'll do even, um, you know, less, maybe even like 30% homepage. It just kind of depends. We kind of change things up. It's not like a, an exact formula or whatever. But in the, gen in the beginning, generally a lot more homepage link building, natural anchors only. And then from there, you can start slowly linking to inner pages and stuff after that. Um, just don't get super aggressive in the beginning. You know, you know, take your time, focus on quality, you know, get your foundational links and then just focus on quality. You don't need to focus on like hitting this like, um, a, a race basically we're trying to get like an insane amount of like referring domains um to try to catch up with your competitors as fast as possible just go slow focus on quality focus on being natural um and you're gonna do pretty well and if all this stuff is confusing for you uh something you can also check out is our managed link building service at sirlinksalot.co uh, managed link building is uh we you basically just give us a monthly budget and we build what links we think your site needs the most based on our analysis of your website. So we actually look up your website in Ahrefs, see what links you have, see what your rankings look like and be like, oh, he needs more foundational link building. He needs more homepage links, whatever. He needs more natural links. And we just, we, we build, our team builds what they know your site needs versus you having to guess on everything, right? Um, so if you're going to buy back links and uh, you're not really sure what you're doing, MLB can definitely be a great option for you. And another benefit to MLB is you can actually watch what we're, what we're doing and you can see month by month how we're doing it. And we, you know, in your monthly reports and stuff, we actually tell you like, what we did and why we did it. And, you know, you can actually like learn how to build links by like looking at our MLB reports, right? Because our team is explaining what we're doing, why we're doing it every step of the way. Um, so definitely something you can check out as well. Yeah, hopefully that helps. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.